first we're going to learn about the letter H. So boys and girls, our letter of the day is the letter H. And we're going to make something to learn about the letter H. And it's a hat, because hat starts with the letter H. H is for hat. Ha, <laughs> ha, hat. So we're going to make our hat out of computer paper. And it's also in the shape of something. Hmm, what shape is our paper? It's a rectangle. Very good. So we're going to use this rectangle paper or computer paper to make a hat. And we're going to do that by folding. So watch very carefully so you know how to make your hat. So now we're going to take our paper. And now you see that there's all these lines. Miss Casey did a little practice one before she started just so that she can make sure that she's telling you the right instructions. So right now we're going to go ahead and make our first fold by making it go this way. This is the long way. And this is the short way. We're going to start off with the long way. What we're going to do is make sure our corners over here match up with each other. So I'm going to take this corner from this side and match it with this side, okay? So I'm going to fold it in and make sure it's touching. The corners are touching each other. And make sure these corners are touching. And then we're going to make a crease and make the fold by getting our two fingers and pinching it down. Ready? Pinch, 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 pinch. All right, so now it should look like this. And it's nice and long like a hot dog. This is called a hot dog style fold. Yeah, nice and long like a hot dog. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna open back up and we're gonna do another fold. We're gonna flip it this way now. Yeah, because so, we're gonna go ahead and do the short sides together, okay? And fold it together. So we're going to make sure the corners match up again, just like that. And we're going to pinch down the fold to make sure it stays pinch, 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 pinch. Very good. And this one's called a hamburger style fold. So it's short like a hamburger. It's not as long as the hot dog one. All right, now that we have it like this, you're going to see it's open on the top. So the open side, we're going to have to put it on the bottom. So we're going to flip it around to the bottom. The open side is on the bottom. And now we're going to make um, a different shape. And I want you to see if you can guess what it is. So right now I'm going to take these corners and I'm going to make it meet with this middle line over here, okay? So I'm going to bring it down, make sure it's touching the middle line. Yep, it's touching the middle line. And I'm going to start pinching again. I'm gonna pinch, 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 pinch. Very good. I'm going to take the side. I'm going to bend it down, making sure it's meeting with the middle line. And we're going to pinch, right? Pinch, 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 pinch. Very good. What shape did it make on top? It's a triangle. Very good. We made a triangle. Now that we have our triangle, we're going to do the next, the last part. So you're going to notice on the bottom we have the open side, right? So what we're going to do, you're going to have these two flaps over here. And we're going to bend them up. So we're going to go ahead. Here, I'll show you right here. We're going to bend it up. So it's going up like that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to pinch it down so it stays. Okay, ready? We're going to use our two fingers. Ready? Pinch, 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 pinch. And we're going to flip around and we're going to do the same thing to the other side. We're going to bring it up. Bring it up. I'm going to go pinch, 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 pinch. And there we go. It should look just like this. And we're going to look at that opening in the bottom again. And we're going to make sure it stretches out, but don't pull too hard. And then we got our hat. And it can fit on your head. Miss Casey's head is an adult size head, so it's a little bit too big. But these, this one should fit your head. So now we have our hat. Very good, boys and girls, and thank you for following along. And you can, after um, you're finished making your hat, you can decorate markers. You can write your name on it. Here is how I decorated my hat. I have my name on the flap, and I have two shapes on the top of the part of the hat. What two shapes are there? Yes, it's a heart and a star. And you can decorate just like this, too, or in your own special way. <laughs>
Good morning, boys and girls. It's Miss Becky, and today we're going to learn about the letter I. Okay, boys and girls, let's practice writing the letter I. Up, down, across, across. Uppercase I. One more time. Up, down, across, across. Lowercase, up, down, dot, up, down, dot. Okay, boys and girls, now you try. Good morning, boys and girls. I want to share some things that you can do with the letter I. I is a really wonderful letter to know. I can be used to talk about yourself. For example, I like to help my mom in the kitchen. I like to brush my teeth. I like strawberry ice cream. I like to cook. There are so many ways you can use I. And remember, boys and girls, when you're speaking to mommy and daddy, don't forget your nice words. I like the way you cook, mom. This food tastes delicious. Daddy, can I help you with that? Yes, Mommy. Yes, Daddy. I'll brush my teeth now. Mommy, I put on my pajamas. See the many ways that you can use I, and I already know you're using kind words. Thank you so much, boys and girls, for doing all that you can do. I miss you very much, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Today we're going to make a special treat today, and I'm going to show you how to make it. And it's something that starts with the letter I. I actually have a picture of it up right now. What is it? It's ice cream. That's what I'm going to show you how to make today. I'm going to first show you all the ingredients, and then I'll show you step by step how to make it. Let's go and try and make it now. So in order to help us make our ice cream, we're going to need some ingredients and items to help us. We're going to need half and half, sugar, vanilla, salt, a measuring cup, a tablespoon, a teaspoon, ice cubes, and a big Ziploc bag, and a smaller Ziploc bag. First, we're going to wash our hands so we don't get any germs in our food. So now we can go ahead and grab our half and half and measure one cup of it. When you're done with that, then you can pour it into a small Ziploc bag. Next, we're gonna put in our sugar. We need one tablespoon of sugar and pour it into my small Ziploc bag with the half and half. So now we need to put in one and a half teaspoons of vanilla. My teaspoon is only half a teaspoon. So I need to put in three times to make it one and a half teaspoons of vanilla. We're all done putting all the ingredients into the small Ziploc bag. So now we can close it by pinching it. Now we're going to go ahead and grab our big Ziploc bag and put ice cubes in it. We need 15 ice cubes in the bag. We're going to use our measuring cup again and measure out one fourth cup of salt. When we're done measuring the salt, we're going to pour it onto the ice in the big Ziploc bag. After, you're going to put the small Ziploc bag into the big Ziploc bag and go ahead and close it when you're done and make sure all the air is out. Go ahead and grab your timer and set it for five minutes. You're gonna shake it so that it gets thicker, like ice cream. Miss Casey isn't wearing gloves in the video, but you might want to, because when the salt hits the ice, it makes the bag really cold really fast. After five minutes, go ahead and check your bag and see if it looks like ice cream. If it still looks like a liquid, you might wanna set another five minutes and keep on shaking. If it looks thick enough, then you can go ahead and enjoy your ice cream. Today we have a special guest on our video. It's Miss Linda. 
She will be reading the book If You Give a Mouse a Cookie. If You Give a Mouse a Cookie by Laura Joff Numerous, illustrated by Felicia Bond. If you give a mouse a cookie, then the mouse will ask for a glass of milk. When you give the mouse the milk, he will ask you for a straw. When the mouse is finished, he will ask for a napkin. The mouse will want to look in the mirror to see if he has a milk mustache. When the mouse looks in the mirror, the mouse will see his hair needs a trim. After the mouse trims his hair, the mouse will want a broom. The mouse might sweep every room in the house. The mouse then wants to take a nap. You will have to find him a little box with a blanket, a pillow. The mouse will make himself comfortable and ask you to read a story. He will ask to see the picture and will want to draw. The mouse will draw with crayons and paper. When the picture is finished, the mouse will want to sign his name with the pen. The mouse will want to hang his picture on the refrigerator. So the mouse will ask for tape. The mouse will hang up his picture and look at it. The mouse will remember that he is thirsty and ask for a glass of milk. With the glass of milk, he will want a cookie. The end. For homework this week, can you tell me what the mouse asked for after eating the cookie? Let your mommy, daddy, auntie, uncle, or grandma and grandpa know the answer and tell them to send it to Miss Casey or Miss Becky. If you do make a hat or make the ice cream, also make sure to send it to Miss Casey and Miss Becky so you can see what you guys did. Thank you for watching, boys and girls. See you next time. Bye.